Hi everyone, welcome back to Digital Dreambox. Today we're going to model a low poly barrel. Let's take a look. So the low poly barrel is a great starting prop for when you're learning low poly art, because it has such few characteristics. And our goal is to reduce it to its simplest forms so we get an understanding of what makes low poly art so appealing. Now let's jump right in. Alright, let's begin. Go up to your poly modeling shelf and add a cylinder into the scene. First thing we want to do is lower these subdivisions. So press T on the keyboard and I'm going to make this 8. I find 8 or 10 looks pretty good. 12 is fine as well, um, but we'll go pretty low. And now let's just scale it up a little bit. And let's add a couple edge loops in the middle section. So we'll use those to make the hoops. Go up to your uh, Mesh Tools tab. Down here, open up the option box for Insert Edge Loop. And what we'll want to do is change it to Multiple and choose Two. And then click on this edge. And now we have a couple edge loops. Perfect. Let's scale that out. Press R to go to your Scale tool. And I'm just going to scale it out. Maybe bring it in a little bit. Right, I think that looks pretty good, but I want to make my barrel a little bit taller. So let's open up our modeling toolkit. Up here are your component modes, and you can get to object mode from right up here. Um, I prefer to use the marking menu, so I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, choose object mode, and just scale it up a little bit. I think that looks a little bit better. All right, let's go into um, edge mode again. Um, again, you can go to it from up here. I'm going to use the marking menu, so holding down the right mouse button, choose edge. And now um, let's um, bevel this. So click the bevel button and let's play with the fraction. I'm going to hold down Control and Shift and drag this so that it doesn't drag too fast. And I'm going to stop right about there. Um, something to keep in mind is um, a lot of these barrels have three hoops at the top and the bottom, but I find for the low poly form itself, simplifying it to two um, makes it look pretty good. So I'm going to um, just have two hoops, but you can add more if you like. All right, now let's go into face mode. I'm going to use that marking menu. Could choose face. And what I'm going to do for this is turn on symmetry. Choosing object Y. I'm going to select this face, hold down shift, double click this one. And now let's extrude this. Click extrude. And we'll give this a little bit of thickness. All right, I think that looks pretty good like that. And now let's give it a little more detail. Let's extrude in that top section as well. So first, click off your mesh, hold down the tab key, that'll enable drag select, and then you can just click and drag and grab these faces. And now we can click extrude. And first, let's give it a bit of an offset. Here we go. And then again, I'm just holding on control, dragging that so it's not too fast. And then I'm going to stop right about maybe here, and now press G to repeat. And now I can um, drag the thickness down a little bit. All right, I think something like that looks pretty good. All right, let's go back into object mode. I'm going to turn off symmetry. And now let's discuss um, how we could clean this up a little bit. So for the barrel, something to keep in mind is you have to figure out if it's a dynamic prop or a static prop. So if it's a static prop and it just sits there, you want to go in and delete the faces at the bottom. That's a big chunk of your cleanup because it'll save you on a lot of topology. If it's a dynamic prop that gets tipped over or gets thrown, you'll probably want to keep the same amount of detail at the, on the bottom as the top. Um, another thing you can do to clean up, and it's just a minor one, you can target weld this vertex to here. So click in that target weld, click on this vertex, drag it to here, and that'll reduce it by a little bit. I'm just gonna do that, undo that. Um, and then that's pretty the, much only the major parts. Um, in terms of the detailing, additional detailing you can give it is um, a hole, you know, um, something, a little bit of spout, or uh, some rivets for the side of the hoops, right? Um, but I find this looks fine, it looks pretty good. So yeah, this is our low poly barrel, and um, it didn't take us very long to make at all. All right, so that wraps up the modeling phase of our barrel. Join us in the next part when we UV unwrap it. Until next time, this has been Digital Dreambox, 
your destination for game art.